I'm Gabriel Dean. I'm the playwright for Qualities of Starlight. Um, Qualities of Starlight is a script um, that I started writing last year um, after hearing a comedy routine of uh, Stephen Wright, a great comedian. Um, and he told this joke. I can't even remember the joke now, but it was it was about uh, how stars die and we're not actually seeing the the starlight they're emitting anymore. Um, and I'd heard of that before, but for some reason, the way that Stephen Wright said it made me think I need to write a play. The last play in this year's festival uh, is one that I'll be directing. Uh, it's called Qualities of Starlight, written by Gabriel Jason Dean. This play is the winner of this year's Essential Theater Playwriting Award competition. Gabriel's play is a twisted family comedy about a, uh, a young man, an astronomer, who's living in uh, California, who comes home to uh, the place where he grew up in northern rural Georgia, up in the mountains. Uh, he brings his wife home with him, and he discovers that his parents have become addicted to crystal meth. Uh, that sounds like pretty heavy subject matter, and it is a serious play in a lot of ways, but it's also very funny. Um, it takes a, it's, it's a very dark, comic look at this situation, but uh, again, I would say that what the play really is about is the bonds of family. Uh, it's about a father, uh, I mean, it's about a son reconnecting with his parents. It's about a husband and wife who kind of lost their way with each other, finding their way back together again. Uh, there's a lot of strange, surreal moments in it. It's a very funny play, but I think that people will find it, it has a lot of uh, substance and depth to it as well. Uh, this will be a, a world premiere production. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rose, get your shot together. Jesus Christ, with the Boy Scout, you have to scare me senseless every single time. I'm a ghost. That's my job. <laughs> have you ever seen this one, Daddy? This is a good one. <laughs> we don't got cable at my place. You take this a little more serious. Oh, what do you know? You're just a hallucination. <laughs> Ghosts are not hallucinations. You need me. There's a difference. I'm a trick of light and time. Hallucinations are cheap lights of pain. Light shines Point. only on the eye beholding it. What we see in the sky, the light from the stars, the starlight, it's millions of years old. Many of the stars we see now have already vanished completely. Poof. Black holes. Dissipations. Stardust settling on our skin, on our coffee beans. You mean the sky's lying to us? Everybody sees the same light. The light can't be alive. Hi, my name's Matt Colton. I'm playing Theo. And I'm Kelly Chris, and I'm playing Paul. We are coming to Georgia to visit my in-laws because we are up for an adoption in California where we live, and the agency has to interview all grandparents before we are approved. And House of the Dark. We have a mystery train by Elvis Presley playing. And lights come up on Pauline the Why is it hard for people to believe that things don't necessarily have to start with the bang? What? The flowers. Oh. <laughs> yes. I knew you'd like it here, city girl. It's strange to imagine you growing up in this place. Well, I did. I'm nervous. There's no need to be nervous. Uh, you know everything about my parents, and I've spent like a total of six hours with yours. More than six hours. I've seen them once in the past three years. Well, my folks love you. Have they told you that? Well, they tell you on the phone, Not right? the same. You know I love you, right? Sometimes. <laughs> they love me. I love you. Ergo, they love you. It's an assumption based on, on a Barney song. Do you want this? Do you want a baby? Oh God! Are, are this again? Are you? Of course I do. Why are you even asking me that? You don't adore me anymore. <laughs> I'm oh. Tissue French, and I'm playing Rose. And I'm Daniel Burnley, and I'm playing Junior. Well, I'm a little nervous okay. because uh, we are smoking meth and can't stop smoking meth. Although I'm quitting, Junior is quitting. Uh, but we also have He's big mess. Yes. Forget that. I don't be questionable. Ask my dealer. Molly, did you get her? She's got mess, Theo. What have you done? A little help. 
Because is much more concerned about the kids coming home. She's very nervous. She, as messed up as she is, she's quite aware that her house is a pigsty and um, she can't control anything around. And she's seeing lizards, and Junior won't do anything about them. <laughs> oh! Son, be careful. What, Mama? It's vicious. It's gonna bite you. The lizard? Yeah, it's on your shoulder, honey. It's harmless. No, no, no. Look at its eyes. It's gonna bite you. Hold still. Hold still. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> I'll kill it. Uh, I'm gonna kill you, you bug eyes. The lizards are in her, in her mind only, and Junior has offered. To get an exterminator if it will please her, even though they don't have the money. But there are no lizards. Beth is a serious problem uh, in Georgia, which which is where this takes place, as Patty mentioned. Uh, it's also by a local playwright, and uh, I think it will both entertain and also maybe educate a little bit. Besides, everyone wants to get to see Daniel Burnley be a degenerate Beth. So come out and see Qualities of Starlight. It's a new play, and I always love seeing new work uh, done for the first time. I think it's always an interesting experience, and there are hallucinations and lots of good music, old school Elvis, and... Astronomy. Yeah. <laughs> um, y'all come. <laughs>